Hello everyone, welcome to the channel. In today's video, we have a DC 12 volt submersible water pump. So let us get started. This particular product that we have comes from the brand Seaflow and works on 12 volt DC. But the brand name is not mentioned on the box. It claims to have a flow rate of 2000 gallons per hour which is equal to 7571 liters per hour. To further break it down, this is equal to 126 liters per minute. It also claims to be capable of lifting the water up to 6.4 meters. It is called as bilge pump because it is mainly designed for use in the bilge of a boat. Bilge is the lowest part of the boat on which the water collects over time. This may happen due to small untreated leakages on the boat or due to rain or due to some other reason. So this DC 12 volt water pump is designed to be used to drain that water from the bilge and that is why it is called as the bilge pump. But you can use it anywhere if you want. For example, I don't have a boat and I will be using this pump to lift water out of my water tank. The tank is about 1 meter deep and around 6 meters away. This pump is totally suitable for me since it gives sufficient water pressure at the output. Since this pump works on 12 volt DC, it is much safer to use and eliminates the risk of electrical shock hazard. Unlike the pumps which work directly on AC, like submersible motors and aquarium pumps, this DC pump is much more safer to use just because 12 volt DC is not capable of giving a life-threatening electrical shock. This is important since the pump along with its wires is totally submerged in water and any fault arising in the future in the motor or any damage to the wires can lead to leakage of current into the water and into the taps connected to the water tank. In case of AC, that can lead to a hazardous shock but with the DC 12 volts, that risk is greatly minimized. Now with all this out of the way, let us take a look at the specifications. This pump works at DC 12 volts and draws a maximum of 8.5 amps, hence consumes 102 watts at maximum. We will be checking its actual current draw, so keep watching the video. The unit is equipped with a 14 ampere fuse to prevent overcurrent. The outlet of this pump is suitable to connect a hose with the inner diameter of 29 mm. For the given size, the pump feels quite heavy and as we can see on our scale, it weighs around 1,121 grams. Overall, quality of the pump looks good. The plastic used in the construction is also good. The plastic base of the pump is easily removable by hand, which makes it very easy to clean when needed. The wires supplied with the pump are 1 meter long and have a 14 gauge of thickness. The provided wires are of good quality and are tinned copper wires. Copper wires with tin coating are preferred in application areas with higher exposure to water. This is because the bare copper has a low resistance to the corrosion under wet conditions. So in this case, it is a perfect choice to use under water. The product looks same as shown online, but there were some inconsistencies in the product information. Firstly, the advertised wire thickness is 18 gauge but the actual product comes with a 14 gauge wire which is thicker and better. Secondly, the product page mentions the current rating of 10 amperes, whereas the actual product mentions 8.5 amps on it. Before using the product, we had to make an adjustment. As I told you earlier, the outlet of this pump is designed for a 29 mm ID hose, but we had planned to use it with our half inch garden hose. To make it possible, we connected an adapter for half inch with the help of hot glue. So now our motor is ready for testing. Let us test our motor for the first time. To power this thing, I am using a 12 volt 20 ampere DC power supply. I have also made a detailed review of this DC power supply. So if you are interested, you can watch it from the cards or from the link given in the description down below. So go ahead and watch that video after watching this video. Here you guys can see that under no load the motor is consuming around 2.3 amps of current. This is way below the rating. We also did test the motor under water and over there it was consuming around 6.9 amps of current which is close but still below 8.5. The flow rate that we measured with the pump installed in our tank which is about 1 meter deep and 6 meters away from the outlet was around 428 liters per hour. Now that is equal to just 113 gallons per hour. Now this big difference in the flow rate is definitely because we have connected a narrow outlet hose. You will surely get a much better flow rate at shorter distance and with a 29mm hose. Overall my impressions are good with this product 
and I can surely recommend if you are looking for something like this. If you are willing to buy this product for home use like me, then keep in mind that you need to have either a DC 12 volt battery or a power supply of at least 10 amperes to properly run this pump. So this is very much it for today's video guys. Please don't forget to like and share the video and subscribe to the channel. If you have any queries, feedback or suggestions then please leave them in the comment section down below. Thanks a lot for watching guys and take care.